having problems wrapping your pallet, whether it's an A, B, or C load, inboard pallets, varying heights, do you have product in the middle that's shifting, or do you simply want to push down your product and contain your corners better? With some tips and tricks from Precision Wrap System, we're going to conquer those problems for you. The corners of an inboard pallet have always been challenging. A lot of bending, film, and time is taken wrapping that corner. With Precision Wrap, we're going to show you a time-efficient, effective way of wrapping those pallets without any work or strain. We simply take our dispenser with our one hand at the front and our one hand at the back. We're simply going to guide the dispenser around the corner on the floor and grab that inboard pallet. This will lay down a very loose layer of film. Allowing you on the second rotation to turn your dispenser back to the normal position. Grabbing it with your one hand and wrapping like you normally would. That challenge of the inboard pallet has now been conquered in two moves and less time. With a couple of quick and easy techniques, I'm going to show you a way of wrapping that pallet as a different height and weight load to give superior containment each and every time. I'm going to do this with a black film so it'll highlight against the palette the two techniques I want to show you. The first is going to be a bow tie, the second is going to be a roping. These are used for palettes that have a, a tendency of tipping or are heavy. The first one is a bow tie. It allows you to protect the integrity of the boxes or product that you're wrapping without crushing with superior containment in the center of the pallet. You place your hand in the middle of the handle, coming around the corner, and as we're halfway through the pallet, we twist 180. We continue this on all four corners. Twisting. The second technique we're going to show you is an actual roping. I prefer to use this for pails or containers. We don't want to crush our boxes with this. It's a simple rope going right around just like an elastic band. What we do is we're going to come around, we're going to turn our dispenser completely on its side. And guiding the dispenser around on its side allows the film to lay down like an elastic band. Locking your load from the top of the pallet is just as important as when you're locking your load from the bottom of the pallet. We don't want the pallet to shift from the top and product be lost. I'm going to show you a technique called containment corners that will allow this to drive your force of your product down and contain it. You come around your pallet. When you're halfway, your hand is in the middle of the pat and the dispenser. Halfway, you're going to lift the dispenser, come up and over the corner. You come around and you grab the alternate corner. And we repeat the process containing the other two corners as effectively, up and over and down, halfway, up and over and down. Coming across, around the corner to finish the pallet like we normally do, pinching the film and pulling the dispenser away and patting down the film. By coming up and over the corners, we have created a sharp V in the film. This pushes your product down, giving a better force to load and protection of your product, making sure that your palette arrives at your customer protected and in one piece.